Hey everyone, welcome back to Mastery Mayhem. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Today we're gonna to talk about an accessory for your iPhone 12, iPhone 12 Pro, iPhone 12 Pro Max. If you don't care for the built-in microphone, this is the Shure MV88 microphone. Let's go ahead and dive into all of the features, benefits, capabilities of this awesome compact mic. Okay, so before we get into it, as far as showing you how it works on the app and all the features and functions it has, just wanna let you know what it comes with. It's a hard, soft case that protects the microphone very well. It does come with this case. Uh, I don't have the box any longer. It's just been a year, so I, I don't know where it is. But you know, I this has protected the microphone very well for over the year that I've had it. It's got a nice little foam cushion there so it keeps it from moving around. This is how it comes in the box. It comes with a foam wind protector there. Uh, it does not come with the dead cat. I had to buy this one separately. Um, it, but I'll include all this stuff in the links in the description below the video. So this is what it looks like, you know, without any type of wind or, you know, sound protection there. This is your mini microphone. I mean, I love this thing. It's very capable. It's a very durable, very rugged type construction. And then you have this swiveling, pivoting um, mechanism here that allows you to go forward. So it's like you're, if you're recording yourself on a selfie video or something like that, it faces you. I really like this microphone because I don't need a wireless transmitter receiver microphone. Uh, even if I'm 10, 15 feet away, it picks up the audio really, really well. So. I'm very happy with this and as you guys see, it's just a quick connect here. You just pop it in, it even clicks a little bit and it's securely in place. So very light, it runs off the battery of the phone. If you do want to put this on with a case, uh, the way I've been able to do it is see how it's got this rubber little bumper there, this black rubber bumper right there. You got to cut out of the case right here on this case that I have. I would just cut or these separation plastic pieces there and then this guy could go on even with the case no problem. It's just depending on what you're looking for. A lot of times I will film with just my iPhone. So with the iPhone 12 I'll just put it in my uh, whatever clamping mechanism I have and that works well enough for me. But of course you'd like to have the case on too if you can to protect it if it does fall or if you drop it. So it's, it's up to you, but you do have those options. Um, so with, with a case on, it causes too much separation and it won't make the, the full contact it needs to make. So keep that in mind. Other than that though, this guy is great. So Shure has a uh, app called Motive Audio. So if you select that, you just go in there and it immediately it'll give you exactly all the information you need to know how to operate this guy well. So if you just hit next, showing you the audio and the gain, 33 dBs, you can adjust that however you want as far as what level you want the gain to be. I always leave it at 33. And then here you can, depending on what you're doing, it gives you the options of like, if you're just speaking, if you're making music, this one is just, I guess a standard setting and it gives you about a 90 degree coverage area. So it shows you all that. And then this one, if you're playing live music, it adjusts what it determines to be optimal at 27 dBs. And then if it's, it's just sound from a speaker, uh, then you got a, a, a broader range there, 120 degree surface area. And then it shows you uh, how the mic works and all of its left and right and for front facing receivers there. So it's it's a very capable microphone and I usually leave it there where I'm speaking because I'm usually just standing right in front of the the phone or the microphone and then you have a compressor adjusting capability there and there's a high pass filter here you can turn that up however you like um, left right swap you can do turn that on equalizer this is if you want to customize your equalizer there you can do it however you want so 0 dB up to 100 and so if you want it flat, it's that's where it is right now. And so as you change it up, it'll you can always hit flat and it goes back to flat. 
So I'm still learning a lot of these features uh, with audio and, and how to optimize your audio. But that's what this guy comes with as far as uh, in the initial uh, setup when you're when you're going in. So see, like right here, it's showing you that it's so it shows that you're using your phone microphone there. And then here is what if you do audio recording, just a voice memo or audio recording, you have that feature there as well. And that's just what I love that it's constantly showing me how the microphone is performing and how the gain is performing for me. So it's a, just a nice feature here. You can uh, you can change the kilohertz, 16 to uh, 48 or 24 48. And then another one here is your voice memos. So all your recordings here are stored in the app as well. Um, so those are just some of the features that are really, really great. You have settings. I have it on dark. Keep screen awake while recording. Yes, I definitely need that. And then uh, analytics are automatically sent to Sure uh, for any type of issues you may have. You have a user guide, the mode of audio user guide here. Uh, MV88 tutorial, this is the one that we're speaking of right now. If you want to get better quality audio, uh, I definitely, definitely recommend this. So now let's do some tests. Just showing you the difference between the built-in microphone and then when you connect this guy, see how much the quality uh, of the audio improves. Let's just do a video here. And we're gonna use the Sure Motive video app. All right guys, so this is it right here. Let's go ahead and just uh, do some recording. Okay, just, and this is what I love here about the app that comes with it. It just really breaks down where you see the audio coming in, making sure everything's working properly. And so, this is a, a little bit of an audio recording. I'm gonna keep my mouth the same distance away from the mic as we do that uh, to see the difference here. So that's that's this test. Apple phone built-in mic test, good to go. So right there, you should see that it says built-in mic. So that's telling you how the built-in mic is performing. Now let's go ahead and put the, let's go put go ahead and put in this awesome microphone and it should change to say um, Shure MV88 mic. So it's changing that up, it's recognized it. It even tells you to enable airplane and do not disturb modes for best results, right? So you don't get any interference. And then now you guys can see there Shure MV88 microphone. So it's recognized it and now it's gonna use that when we record. So about the same distance here with a 33 dB gain. Okay, so this is what it sounds like with the MV88 microphone connected at 33 dB gain versus the iPhone 12 Pro built-in microphone. You guys heard the other audio recording and now this is the Shure MV88. So we'll leave it at that. So we record some video outside using only the iPhone 12 Pro built-in mic and then another video with obviously the Shure MV88 microphone. Uh, with the dead cat on just to show you guys the difference and why I love this mic so much Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is uh, just hold on really tight to my pistol grip and phone mount to Spin as fast as I can before I get dizzy and see if I can get the wind to come directly into the built-in mic as much as I can Since there's really no wind today and let's see what we get Okay, all right, glad I survived okay, So that. right now I have the mic facing me because remember it's on a hinge so you can have it, I can have it facing out like that or facing towards me and that's the way I have it right now. But when I go ahead and do the spin with the mic, I'm gonna have it facing directly out. So it's the same direction as the built-in mic. So the first spin got me pretty dizzy, but uh, here we go. I'm gonna try to spin as fast as I can. Pretty trippy because it feels like the phone's gonna fly out of the, uh, the mount but it won't so i tightened it down remember this has the sure mv88 with the dead cat on okay give me a second to get reoriented here but that was that test let's put the microphone back up this is the app here this is the motor video this is what what i see on the screen obviously forward facing camera but you get to see the db gain here on the left side right there and then it even tells you gives you all sorts of options there as far as brightness here you can change that you can do 1080p resolution 4k resolution 48 kilohertz 44.1 so it's uh, you can do wave audio alec audio i'm not sure what that is aac 96 audio ac 128 audio 
256 and then wave audio or WAV audio is what I usually leave it on. Here you can get the, the grid on the screen if you want. So just a really great tool that uh, Shure gives you in the microphone as well as for, for video. So it just gives you a lot more options there to really be able to customize. Then you have the menu there where you can do settings, about, format quality. So it's this is like the extended version here. Let's see if we can just close that right there. So yeah, depending on whether you want the grid or not or the level line, that's pretty sweet right there. Let's you know if you're pretty level. Okay, so that's pretty much it everyone. I just wanted to show you the difference between using the built-in microphone on your new iPhone 12 Pro. The microphone app is great and if it's something that you need for your iPhone, I highly recommend it. And since tomorrow is the day of voting, this microphone has my vote. It's had my vote. But either way, whatever works for you, whether it's the built-in mic, if that's good enough for you, great. But if you want something a little more capable to get you cleaner audio, better sounding audio for your videos, for your voice recordings, definitely recommend this mic by Shure, uh, which is the Shure MV88. And again, I'll include the link in the descriptions below, as well as the pistol grip that I have, the phone mount, my phone case, all, all the things that I'm actually using in my videos. Uh, if you guys are interested in something like that or wanting to know what it is that I use. If you found this video informative and helpful on making a decision on whether or not you want to buy the Shure MV88 for your uh, recordings, whether and it, remember, it doesn't just work on the iPhone, iPad, anything with the lightning port, it'll work just fine. So, and I have it right now uh, on with my case on my phone. So, it's a, it's, again, it's, a, it's just a really good mic for the price. I think it's very capable. Download the app and just go through it and set the mic the way you want based on what you're using it for. Please leave a like, a comment, share. Click the notification bell, of course, because I'll, I'll continue to make more and more videos. And my videos, again, will be focusing on tools, tech, DIYs, and deals that help you master the mayhem, making life a little easier and work more efficient. So until next time, I appreciate you guys tuning in, and I hope all the best for you and yours. Thank you.